Hi, I'm Terry Howe. I'm with Terry Howe & Associates and we're an auction company and we're selling houses. We have about 60 houses coming up in an online auction in Georgia and I'm over visiting one of them today just to look around see what I might see about it and hoping you'll uh, have a chance to look at this video and find you may be interested in it. This particular property is at 3511 Brock Road. It's in Gainesville, Georgia. It lacks just a little bit, being 1.8 acres. Pretty nice house. It's built in, in uh, 2006, so it's not very old. Uh, it's going to need a little cleaning, a little paint, but it really ain't that bad. Uh, we're going to walk through and I'm going to show you a few things. It's a three bedroom, two bath home. It has a nice family room with a fireplace and a real open area, kitchen, uh, dinette area, den type thing. So it's really. Uh, has a really good floor plan. Also, there's a bonus room above the garage. It is not finished. Need some sheetrock carpet and put the duct work in for the heat and air. I saw a place look like they had stubbed off some duct maybe intended for that. I'm not the heat guy, but uh, I did that on one of my buildings and later I added the air to that room. So that's what it looked like to me. All right, we're gonna go in and take a look. We'll look around the yard a little bit. We're right at the edge of the property in the back corner. So um, we're not going to go all over the acreage and all. You can come out here and walk on it if you want to. Remember, it's an online only auction. It's a USDA foreclosure. Sells at absolute auction. Highest bidder wins every time. All right, we'll head on inside. Hey, since we're here at the garage, before we step in the front door, I'll just show you. Uh, there's no garage door. I don't know where it is. I don't know what happened to it. Looks like we had some wiring possibly uh, hanging down for maybe a garage door open. I didn't have a key, but I suspect that's a little utility room off the garage. So uh, when you come out here, no garage door. And just quickly, it looks like somebody did some clearing on this property, but uh, it's grown up a little bit. I don't, I don't think anybody's been out here in a while. There's leaves in the garage. and. This is the driveway that I came in to access the property. It looks like it comes across some other property and, and the, this land goes out to the right of the house if you're standing on the front porch. And then it has a flag pole that comes out with access to the road. I'm, I'm checking on that now. All right, we'll head on inside. Just want to point that out while we was here at the garage. Okay, as I um, come in the front door, I'm looking down this little hallway and our kitchen's right here to the left in our dinette area. We'll step in there and look at it. But right here is the door that accesses the garage. You just step right out of your car, right in your kitchen. and I like that, that feature. The front door, I don't know, I don't think anybody painted it. So you can paint it your favorite color. It looks like it's primer gray now with some white spots on it. Where it, I don't know what that's about. All right, here in the kitchen, we got lots of cabinets. Pretty nice. There's a couple of appliances here. We do not have utilities on, so I do not know with that dishwasher or that um, stove works. I think I mentioned the house built 2006, is according to my records that I was given. But anyway, just normal wire in here and probably just some paint and decorate your color. This floor looks really nice. I like that small checkered pattern, I mean, that small square pattern myself looks pretty good. And then as you look out, uh, out of the kitchen, I see the family, I'll call it the family room, den, some people call it, and it's carpeted. This carpet really uh, doesn't look that bad, It'd probably clean. And then again, some normal wear and tear. And I see a few spots on the wall through the house, like somebody came through here with some mud, maybe fix some little places where some pictures were hanging, it looked like they were going to paint. And then this ceiling really goes up. That's pretty. And there is a ceiling fan. I don't think they could reach it. Somebody's tied a string on it. And this is a nice wall over here. And then there's a door to the deck. And we'll step out there while we're here in this uh, family area. But this, this room looks good and that carpet looks good. And the fireplace has been used, but it'd be nice on a cold evening. While we're here, let's just step out on the deck. Okay, I'm out on the deck, and like I said, if you'll look on the picture, uh, the aerial photo, 
uh, you'll see that this, this house is built back up in the corner of the property, but there's a fence oh, right up there in the bushes that looks like there might be a cattle farm or something next door. This house is in good shape, and uh, I'll just step out in the yard while I'm here. Okay, here's a view of the back of the house, and you know, clean out the gutters and spray off the vinyl, and it'll shine like new money. Okay, we'll check out some bedrooms and other living areas. Okay, is um, this is the back bedroom is on the left hand side of the house if you're facing it and looks like they were patching a few holes I think this is one got the doorknob hole in the wall and you're gonna have to do a few things like that just patch it up a little bit before you paint no major construction work and I don't see any doors in this closet either but again it's the same carpet it'll probably clean up real good I just get a carpet cleaner and fix it. And they've pulled a little paper off the sheetrock. I don't know why that is, but it happened. But you can mud over there, it'll be fine. All right, how about the bathroom? This is our uh, bath. It's between two bedrooms in the hallway. Just needs a little cleaning. Has that same floor, it appears, that's in the kitchen. Do have a tub shower combination, nice mirror, fixtures, everything's here. I'm, I'm surprised that it is. Okay, let's step over. Uh, here's another bedroom. It's in a, a lavender color. There's pencil marks on the wall. Uh, it looks like they started mudding up a few places. But this house, you know, not that old, so in good shape, got the light fixtures in it. And again, they tore this paper off the front of the sheetrock. I don't know why they did that. And looks like they were using this wall for a school board for doing problems or something. All right, how about the master? Let's go look at it. It's a nice room. Okay, here um, we are in the master bedroom. Does have that uh, tray type ceiling. Nice light fixture. Same story here, carpet, needs a good cleaning. I think it's salvageable, could be used because the walls you can see are in good shape. A few little places where there have been some mud work going on. And then there's a nice walk-in closet. I like it. It's pretty deep. There are some, some shelves in it, probably could stand some more. There's a nice light fixture in it. And uh, hey, there are some doors. That might be for that first bedroom. Check that out before you buy any. And this is the master bath. It does have a shower. And there's not a door on it, but I think probably used a curtain. Has a tub, that same tile. And some nice cabinets. Not bad. All right, now I did say there was a bonus room, so we'll go look at it. Okay, this is the stairway to the bonus room. It already has a carpet, the wall's finished. Okay, this is the bonus room. They just haven't put up the sheetrock. There's a lot of space here. That room's probably 12, let's see, there's 16. Two, three, four, five, ten times sixteen inches. It's 160 inches divided by 12. That's what 12, 14, 15 feet wide and maybe 25 feet long. Not bad. And over here, that's where I saw that piece of ductwork um, stubbed off. And that could possibly have been for this. I don't have the drawings or the plans for the house, so I don't know what it was about. But anyway, this is extra space. It's not going to cost much and improve the value of the property. All right. Remember, absolute auction sells to the highest bidder regardless of price. Okay, what would you think? Pretty nice house. Needs some paint. Needs some cleaning. Built in 2006. Three bedroom, two bath. 
that nice bonus room when you get it done and have you a pretty good house here. It's kind of private at the end of this long driveway. Uh, I kind of like it. I hope you do too. Remember, just a few things. This is an online only auction. All bidding's on the internet. We will not be here on the property to take your bid. Read your contract package. You told us you did when you uh, registered, so go ahead and read it. It's got a lot of information in it, answer a lot of your questions. Tells you all the uh, fine details about how to get the deposit, how to get it closed, how to take possession. Um, that's, that's important. If you need some help with the bidding process, we have some help videos on our webpage in the upper right hand corner. Also, uh, if at that point you still need to talk to somebody, that's great. We're there for you. We want to help you. Our number's at the bottom of the screen, or you can send us an email, info at terryhow.com. We're there to help you buy this property. That's what we want to do. So make sure everything's clear before you do start bidding. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up here. Remember one more time, it's an online bidding. The address is terryhow.com. I appreciate you taking time to look at this video. I hope it's been helpful to you. Come out to the inspection, give it your own, uh, put your own eyes on it and look it over and inform your own opinion. Okay, I'm going to head on to the next house. I'll see you at the auction, terryhow.com.